Hey, welcome back, Whitetail Kings. So, a little bit of a recap of what we've done so far. We've uh, put in bedding areas with some timber stand improvement. We've done some hinge cutting, and we've also started to design our food plots. Uh, first and fo foremost, we laid out the property design. So, I want to take you back and show you kind of how we laid out the property design and why we put things where we are. Today's President's Day here. It's uh, February 16th here in Pennsylvania, and it's it's about 30 degrees out today. It's a nice day to come out here and just walk on the property, kind of outline some things that I need to go through before it starts to get a little bit warmer. Um, we're considering frost seeding some switchgrass today, just getting it just just getting it on top of the snow, just in some areas to see how that takes this year. We've already put about 3,000 pounds of lime down. Um, we're going to put a few more, uh, about 150 more pounds in another area today. Um, and, you know, just, just a lot of different things that we're kind of pulling together now. And we're starting to get into that late winter time where a lot of guys are out there frost seeding. Um, for this property, it's all new. So this is all, you know, virgin soil. It's basically never been planted. It's an old strip job. It used to be a cow pasture. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of years of you know, weeds and, and, and uh, just natural growth that has been on this property. And you can see the seedlings behind me. So the first thing that we're going to address today and go over is something we're going to do uh, with the property here in, you know, probably the end of May, we're going to start planning our screening. So right behind me, you see, this is an opening. We're actually standing on a road right now that goes back to the this is on the western side of our property. So the road runs north and south on the far west side of the property. Now, the big thing with that is I wanna build these plots up tight against this road to create that depth of, depth of cover back into the property. Uh, the property lays out kind of almost, almost square um, and it's 50 acre parcel, so we have this north and south running road on the western edge. Obviously you have that primary, primary southwest wind, northwest wind, so it makes things tricky on this. So we had to get creative. So we pulled the food into here. So we're going to access um, on a westerly wind, we're gonna access from the south and we're gonna access from the north and pop around on stands that kind of uh, kind of border the north and the southern parts of the property. On an eastern wind, it's great because now everything's going to be coming back through here. We can pop into one of the ground blinds, one of the stands we have set up on the edges here. But to create that and to let us get away with the movement, we're going to have to build some screening um, and put in some sw switchgrass on this side. That kind of gives these deer a little more security, a little more cover for them to feel comfortable coming out in daylight hours. Now, directly to the west of me straight that way is a couple thousand acres of hardwoods a lot of cover so there is a bigger picture part of this as well but we're going to focus on this 50 acres how things work from the inside working to the outer edges and we're going to chip away and hunt it from the inside out see behind me we have this opening future plan is you can see vaguely i planted some white pine here in this row and this opening right here is a perfect opportunity to plant a full 15 foot wide section of of uh, screening problem is it's a gas line so um, I can't really screen on that but what I can do is I can take the screening just on the inside of this make about a 10 foot wide section I'm going to have to till it up eventually since the ground's good enough to till it up and we will make probably about 100 to a 200 yard screening because down here we have enough timber enough pole timber down here where it once once the leaves once it blooms once we get into spring that's going to make a nice cover now those, those leaves will hold on till early october but we will take it in a little bit further because we're going to surround another food plot down in here on this southern end that that borders this road so we got a lot to do today um we've done a lot so far and it's been fun so Again, thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. We're building the channel. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of, I'm not new to YouTube. Um, I've ha actually have about three or three other channels out there from way back when. 
uh, that have lots of views, but uh, you know, uh, once you're starting to build a new channel and, and, and have a new project, it's uh, we're starting with a clean slate here. So, you know, follow us along, and uh, once we get into the season, we'll uh, have a lot of action. It'll be really cool to, to see how this property went from purchased and really no no habitat plan on it to purchasing it, creating a habitat plan, putting those habitats plans and, and practices into into play, into practice, and then ultimately providing a place for the deer, for the rabbits, for the squirrels, for the turkey, for the pheasant, um, for any for the birds, for the butterflies, for the bumblebees, all that good stuff. We want to we want to build it here and, and have it for them and for years to come. So thanks for coming along. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it and enjoy it. So next I want to show you guys how the hinge cuts have been working. In the center of the property down, well not the center, but closer to the far western edge of the, of the property where the food pots are going to be, we put in about a, uh, a couple one eighth to a quarter acre hinge cut areas and we put them right up against the food plots so the deer could start to get familiar with that area and familiar with bedding there and feel comfortable there with a lot of side cover. and came up here the other day with uh, Megan and Raylan and we took a little ride in the Jeep and brought them back in to show them some of the property. It's their first time here so that was really cool. I was really excited to show them you know what, what I've been doing and, and what you know they're going to be a part of and uh, I was walking through and I was able to find some areas that you know some large groups of does have been bedding so that's that's a great sign they're they're, they're going to be right up against the, the food um, so that'll give me the, the that layering towards the back where the bucks can where the bucks can bed and you know it, the plan's starting to come together so it's really cool to see here's a little clip of that so I just wanted to give an update here on these hinge cuts so this is an area that I came in about a month ago a little more than a month um, and I cut it back right now it's February 15th and what we've done is create a bedding area that is going to be pushed up next to the food plots and in between the food plots. And, you know, throughout the winter here, they've been really hammering the brows has been left on the ground. But uh, we're trying to establish some regularity for them to feel comfortable bedding in here. So, you know, and, and I'm seeing that there's a lot of beds in here and Obviously a lot of tracks, you see a lot in the snow. Obviously a couple of deer can make a lot of tracks, but the amount of beds in here is, is a sign I'm really happy about. So um, I'm out here with the family today and took a little ride back in here to show them for the first time, you know, what we're doing. It's, it's in the negative, so we <laughs> throw the baby out, but we're in the, in the vehicle. They're in the vehicle behind me right here. Uh, but by this time next year, we probably won't be able to drive back in here because we'll have it filled up with switchgrass and different pockets. So. Um, so far so good definitely a, uh, a good thing we got here with creating these hinge cuts in these areas that have uh, opened up you know for some sunlight to come in these to get a little thicker here as we uh, keep moving forward One of the things I've done is planted these 120 white pines and uh, I have to re relocate a couple, move them back because they're going to be on the line of our uh, of our screen. So I want to move them back. You see that one there? I'm going to move it back. And then I have a few out here. I'm going to move them back as well. So just a little extra work. <laughs> but you got to do it sometimes. It's tough to plant trees in the winter but these ones you know I, I did it right before winter the deer have been staying off them so that's great so uh, hopefully they take off
right, so we've uh, we've limed our conceal row. We've limed that. We tilled it. We limed these two plots here that are going to be towards the very far west of the property, the front of the property where the road is right out here. Now that road, you can see this, so that's how we're creating that conceal edge, um, screening edge. And then we took another plot up here that runs parallel with the road. We tilled that up again um, just, to, just to keep working the dirt. And we tilled up another area that we're going to be putting some switchgrass today. So what I'm planning on doing here in a little bit is I'm going to take the outer edges, several of these plots, and broadcast some switchgrass to uh, frost seed it. And then we'll come back in, we'll spray, uh, we'll put the simazine in, the pre-emergent, and we'll come back uh, before before that switchgrass germinates and we'll hit it with the glyphosate and then we have to continue to hit the insides of the plots with the glyphosate because we're going to hold it hold off the planting until the fall so there will be some weeds in there but uh when we come back we'll hit those again so i think that's all we've done so far it's been a long day but it's beautiful out this uh it's really nice to till this up here when it's starting to thaw or when it's starting to thaw because you can uh really see you know how much dirt you're you're starting to turn over and mix that lime in and whatnot so uh for it being the first time that it's been turned over it's pretty good not a lot of rocks um one thing i will say is i'll take you back here and show you this uh this strong made hitch that i did a review on a few weeks ago it's still holding up pretty dang good. Um, you can see nothing's nothing's bent, nothing's turned. Um, this thing's definitely been taking its toll and pretty fired up about it. So, good stuff. But we're going to continue on and we'll uh, catch you when we, when we seed. Okay, so we are pretty much on the southwest corner of the property. Um, right behind me is the road, southwest corner that we come in. Right out there, you see a sign out there. That's a, that's part of the road. Right over here, here's the edge of my property. And what I did here is the screening outline. So a lot of these maples in here are going to basically be the screening. So this is just kind of a project kind of see how it works. I'm going to throw some seed down and see if it takes off. We see a trail that goes through here. If we can get it to catch, then great. If not, that's okay because we have a lot of cover here. We have a lot of leaf cover here, but once that leaf comes off, hopefully this screening is still standing. So I'll walk you through basically what we did today. Okay, so this is the far, the far end. And this trail just kind of wraps around going to create you know another edge but the groundhog actually did a nice job you see this this ground's starting to you know it's it's, it's starting to come unthawed so it's nice to use that and kind of run through here with it but as you can see there's the road so this will be all be screening so i have a pocket here to my right that i don't know what i want to do with yet I could put food in there. I could put switchgrass. It leads into a nice cluster of uh, of white pines, and you know it's it's a good place for those deer to bed. There's a food plot on the other side of it also, and then it it circles around into here where those front food food plots will be. So you can see I made a nice you know ten foot wide trail pretty much through here, exposed the soil, and pre and laid laid a bunch of lime down and just prepping it for this spring. You see I get, I get a pretty good trail that comes through here and goes right into this thicket of pines. So this will be nice because there's some trails that go through, through those pines that will lead right to that food plot. Um, this is actually coming off the property, so we're not focusing on this, but it's just basically one of the pluses. 
This continues to snake around here nicely. And this is our biggest opening through here. You see there's some diversity in here. We got some nice pockets of pines and uh, you know, it really breaks it up nice. So it is a good habitat. My problem is this road. So I'm, I'm working on screening this road. Right there it is, right there's the, uh, the neighbor's posted sign. The road comes up here. So we'll, we'll put screening all through here. It is open. You know, we get this nice open, a lot of sunlight coming through. Way flying over, nice day to fly. <laughs> but you can see exposing the soil. Got some lime down. We'll put that screening up. And it's going to block out these food plots. So we got food plots front and food, uh, food plot behind it. Then there's a food plot over here behind those hemlock or those pines that are over here. And there and we got up in here, this ridge line right here. We got um, uh, hinge cuts, hinge cut bedding. Um, and then we have another food plot out here. So basically it all runs parallel to this road behind me. One other thing I did here is I planted these white pines. You can see them right through here. I planted 120 white pines to go along this road. So in about five years, we'll have an actual screen that will cover up these plots naturally. And then I put another row right here. And I moved, I actually had to move a couple out of this plot, dug them up and just relocated them right here. Perfect day to do it, the ground's soft enough. So we got that taken care of. But this actually snakes all the way up. You can see my truck up here, that's where my one entrance is. But it'll snake up and hopefully we get a good catch of this screening all the way up to the next plots. This opening leads right up to this gated parking lot. And we're gonna continue the screening up into here. Here's the gate. So this is right in the middle, in the middle of the property um, on the far western side. We won't be open, we won't be going in here during hunting season. That'll be locked shut. We won't even enter it. But this will be all screening. See where it's path out We've got more hemlocks we call them hemlocks pines white pines planted right here if you're wondering what these white what these white caps are these white caps basically stop the deer from eating those top bulbs and they can take the side brows but if they bite off this top brows and or this top bulb and uh, usually it'll die. So I was told on Google. But so far so good. That one's gone. They're still not, they haven't really touched them. So that's good. So right here is a little pocket of switchgrass we're going to plant. And then I have another food plot right up here. And then the hinge cuts bedding goes all the way through there. So this is eight acres down here that's all sanctuary. And then there's about another 25 to 30 acres of cover behind that. That's just a ridge. It's that, that um, cut we, we've been working on all year. So, on to some frost seeding. All right, so we got our switchgrass seed, and we're gonna outline this plot. Basically go right around the outside, probably put about 10 foot row in, and just to create a little bit more security on the outside of the plot. So that's what we're doing right now. Got our little piece of junk, Scott's Wiz. Works all right though. Um, waiting on our hand spreader, but it will do the job. We're trying to put put on basically for uh, an acre. You're putting anywhere from eight to ten pounds of switchgrass on. So uh, definitely gotta find that rhythm and 
get it down, uh, you know, get enough down. So that's what we're gonna do now. Plant and switchgrass. So that's it for today. We just got finished broadcasting about five pounds of switchgrass. We uh, outlined the food plots. So hopefully that catches well and we uh, get a nice catch of switchgrass here for the, for the fall. But uh, just want to thank our sponsors, which are nobody. <laughs> but uh, no, we're just out here enjoying, it, enjoying ourselves and uh, documenting what we're doing here and having a good time so uh, enjoying this beautiful day here in Pennsylvania got a day off of work so decided to come out here and take care of business so thanks for joining me uh, hit that subscribe button we'll be back with more um, want to give a shout out to the guys at shaft driven sporting their shirt today thanks Corey for getting me the shirt didn't get to make the banquet this year heard it was great uh, a lot of great buck shot um, you know congrats to all you guys doing a great job I uh, love what you're doing so thanks to those guys, and thanks to all of you for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time on White Tail Kings. See you guys. There he is, 2019 Pennsylvania Whitetail. Beautiful, beautiful buck, beautiful mount by Jack Lulu. Thanks, Jack. You do a great job. A bunch of turkeys and a couple deer done by Jack. Here's his taxidermist shop. Rockway, Pennsylvania, so what a good looking mount. Beautiful. Story's coming soon.